Hi everyone, I'm Walter. And I'm Sam. And welcome to Unit 6, a beef but no beef. So today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which is hamburgers. Oh, lovely. I love hamburgers. I'm a massive fan of hamburgers. I still don't believe that there are some people out there that think that they cannot survive on oh, a nice, juicy hamburger and that just hits the spot. Hits the spot. Hit the spot. You either like hamburgers or you're lying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But there are many people out there that think that, well, they don't buy that you need that protein, that animal protein mm -hmm. in order to survive. But, you know, horses for courses, everyone's different. Don't buy. Don't buy. <laughs> but it's interesting that you bring out like vegetarian because yep. Um, John Harvey Kellogg, mm -hmm. who is mostly well famous for creating Kellogg's Corn Flakes, mm -hmm. was also one of the first to create analog meat in America, oh. which is aka fake meat. Analog. Analog. And this was developed back in the 1870s, actually. Oh wow, that's so long ago, right? Yeah, it's a long time ago. It seems like new technology that we're getting a lot of vegetable-based products or for vegetarians, whether it be, I don't know, soy-based products or I don't know, something else. Mm -hmm. But I didn't realize it goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, it's very interesting. And how many hamburgers do you think that you eat in a year? I feel like it's a lot, Sam. <laughs> uh, I'm in the three digits. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's in the high two, digit, two digits to the right. three digits. Oh, it's got to be above. It's easily above 50. Oh, really? Easily. 50. One, at least once a week, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah at, at least. Where, where's your burger, uh, where's your favorite burger joint or place? It's got to be McDonald's. Yeah, Mac is. It's, it's just got to be. It's, it's plain, simple, iconic. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Not too much, you know. Cheap. Cheap. Yeah. Oh, it just hits the spot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. For me too, I'm also a big Macca's fan, McDonald's fan. Um, I think I would say I'm pretty similar to you. I try to not eat as much these days, but when I really pig out, mm -hmm. it's I, I, I go nuts. I, I, I get like <laughs> two burgers what, like in the same meal. Right. So I always get like a, like a quarter pounder burger and a cheeseburger yeah. on the side. McDonald's should really hit us up and we could sponsor yeah, Seriously. Sponsors seriously. <laughs> because I'm a, um, I'm a massive fan of burgers, yes. Right, well, I'm curious because, what's it, John Harvey mm -hmm. Kellogg developed a plant-based, not plant-based, but he developed kind of quote-unquote fake meat. Yeah. Analog meat. Yeah. But have you ever tried any plant-based meat before? A long time ago, talking about McDonald's again, I used to work at McDonald's oh. and they did have what was called the vegetarian burger. Now it was a terrible looking vegetarian patty of really strange brown color. Oh. Um, I did try that once and it didn't taste good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was hoping that it would, but it wouldn't. But there are some vegetarian foods that I have tried mm -hmm. that actually aren't too far from the real thing. Mm -hmm. They're still quite tasty. I mean, I'm not against vegetables, but I prefer meat. Right. That's the thing. How about you? Um, I've tried a veggie burger. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. I've tried a veggie burger and, and veggie sausages. Ah, oh, okay. And they were surprisingly nice, mm -hmm. but that's because my expectation was incredibly low. low. Yeah. <laughs> so. They, yeah. they, they were a lot better than I expected, but it's not something I'll pick over a, a real meat sausage and yeah. a juicy hamburger. I think we've made a lot of the vegans and vegetarians angry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that wraps it up for the preview section and we'll see you on the review section.